John Clements for the UMass Fruit Advisor. Today is Thursday, June 22nd, 2006. We're back at the UMass Cold Spring Orchard in Belchertown, Mass. And I wanted to show you a pheromone trap in the back here that I put up a couple days ago, on the 20th actually. This pheromone trap was uh, targeting oblique banded leaf roller adults. And leaf roller last year, you're going to have the adults from that overwintering generation flying. Uh, typically start about 900 degree days after base 43 after uh, January 1st, which we reached last week. Um, I think we're at the peak of the adult oblique banded leaf roller flight now. And this is a, an important time. We're probably a little bit past um, the, the biofix date. Maybe it was a few days ago. When we got the first sustained trap capture, we got, oh, about 10 moths or so in this trap here just in, in, in just over 24 hours. And so that kind of sets the timing for when we want to apply a, a spray to target the larva. These adults have been laying eggs, and um, the larva will start hatching. And, and typically that's at about, oh, maybe about 13, 1400 degree days, uh, base 43 after January 1st or approximately 200 to 250 degree days after we get this biofix, um, again base 43, uh, after we get this biofix and want to start uh, treatment for oblique banded leaf roller. So uh, I'm guessing that's going to be next week, not guessing, looking at uh, the forecast and the, and the temperature. This is where a weather station comes in handy where you can run the degree day model very easily. and. Uh, Looking at probably next week, around the 26th or 27th, where we're easily going to reach that, you no, know, around 300 to 300 degree days after the first biofix, probably to, to think about a treatment. Now there's a couple options, several options for treating these at this time of the year. Again, we're going to be targeting the hatching larvae when they're young. And um, Spintor is, is a, a proven product that's worked well in the past. Um, we're going to be using Intrepid from Dow this year and uh, putting this on several blocks, uh, mostly Macintosh and Cortland, where in the past we've started to observe this oblique banded leaf roller damage and harvest in greater numbers. So the point is these traps are good to put up to monitor whether you've got a population of adults to set the biofix for when to start accumulating degree days so you can accurately time that insecticide application. Uh, to get effective control uh, of the newly hatched larvae. And again, typically, it's you know, usually around July 1st. It varies a little bit from year to year and, and, and obviously your ge geography. But here it's going to be uh, the last week in June approaching July 1st for us. So, uh, hopefully we'll get that spray on, control the leaf roller in this block. Um, for the UMass Fruit Advisor, this is John Clements. Until next week, have a good one. Quickly here today, I also wanted to show you a, a tart cherry I'm picking. Now it's Erdy Jubileum or Jubileum. It's a tart cherry from Hungary. I've got a replicated planting with Gisela 5 and uh, Gisela 6 rootstocks with this Jubileum. The 5 and 6, the 6 is definitely bigger, although not, not a lot bigger than the 5. But again, June 22nd, an early tart cherry for us. These trees have done quite well. You can see the birds have been getting into them, and we're going to some efforts to keep the birds out. But I just wanted to show you this Jubileum cherry again. It looks like a good cherry for our region, an early tart cherry that can also be eaten fresh, and I highly recommend it.